Hello everybody, this is Michael from Weez Into Snakes. And behind me here I have uh, my common boa constrictor, Roxy. And uh, she just got finished shedding. Um, here's her shed. And uh, she, uh, good, uh, really good shed. And um, we were waiting on her to finish shedding. Um, and then we we're gonna feed her again. So today is feed day. And um, what we feed Roxy is I get these jumbo rats and they're of course they're frozen so they uh, euthanize the rats um, with like a CO2 and uh, basically it puts them to sleep and they pass on and um, then uh, what we do is we normally we'll thaw the rats out um, normally what I do is I'll take a tub and uh, with some uh, warm water in it and I'll put the rat and soak it in the tub and change the water out uh, throughout the day. <clears throat> it usually takes us uh, several hours to throw, uh, throw out one of these rats. You don't want to put it in the microwave or anything like that. You want it to pretty much thaw on its own in like warm water or something like that. And uh, uh, like I said, it takes several hours. So um, I'm not gonna really show that process because it would be long and boring. Um, but like I said, I'll go ahead and put uh, put one of the rats in a uh, warm bucket of water and uh, thaw it out and then uh, we'll go ahead and uh, feed Roxy. Like I said, it's uh, uh, it's been probably three weeks since we fed her. So I, I like to feed her every three to four weeks. Um, one of these large jumbo rats. She's really coming back uh, good as far as getting back the good healthy weight and everything from uh, when we picked her up. Uh, so well, we're going to go ahead and thaw the rat out and uh, go ahead and feed her. So let's we'll see how this goes.
Roxy did really well. Um, wasn't any hesitation really at all for her to uh, take the rat. Once she got the scent of the rat and so forth, she uh, she uh, did really well and uh, struck it and took the rat. Um, I have not had any problem with Roxy eating um, so far. So you know, with some of the ball uh, ball pythons we have, they'll get picky and and not want to eat or something like that. And uh, um, that's the only problem with a uh, frozen thawed is if uh, you thaw them out and then they uh, they don't want to eat uh, you basically have uh, wasted them because I don't like to re-thaw them I mean refreeze them and thaw them out again um, so that's that's one issue so that you know that's why when on some of our ball pythons and stuff like that we'll feed certain ones one day and then other ones another day that way if someone doesn't take on the day that they're uh, scheduled to be fed you know we'll feed off one of the other ones that are the next go around so um, that way we try to eliminate uh, wasting any rats and, and that kind of thing uh, um, really don't you know don't, don't want to waste any anything like that so but anyway um, really appreciate you watching I uh, hope you enjoyed the video um, please uh, like share and subscribe um, this is our 50th or 51st video that we've done so far um, we're kind of enjoying doing them uh, each one of us you know the family takes part in uh, doing it it's like a family hobby of raising the snakes and the other rep reptiles so uh, we're really enjoying it um, so again I appreciate you watching and uh, please uh, you know like the video uh, give us a thumbs up uh, and uh, please subscribe um, and uh, we'll see you next time. Oh, and uh, one other thing. We do sticker swaps. So any of uh, the reptile keepers out there, hobbyists, breeders, or, or what have you, that uh, have stickers and they want to do sticker swaps, uh, drop us a message. Uh, and we'll, uh, we've been doing quite a few sticker swaps. We're going to do um, some updates on some of the stickers we got here shortly. So if you have some sticker swaps uh, or want to do a sticker swap, drop us a line comment below and uh we'll be happy to do that uh love to, love all the different stickers and styles and designs that we're, we're getting from different people so thanks again and we'll see you next time